Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So today is actually yours favourite time of the month which is when I go ahead and I sit down with you guys, go over all of my hunting footage for the month in terms of my squishmallow hunting and sometimes I do include squishables, build bears and bum bums. So go ahead and grab yourselves a drink, grab yourselves a little snack because this voiceover today is going to take about 22 minutes. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and head on into the hunting footage. We are starting off this month at a Woolworths and there was a couple of squads that we have obviously seen before, the one with this little corn or maize and that cute little lavender uh, groundhog, the pink flying squirrel and etc. There was also that little, I don't know if it's a hyena or a wild dog, but either way. And then of course this little green platypus. I don't really think that the platypuses in Squishmallow form were really done very good justice, but that's besides the point and also just one person's opinion. At Big W there really wasn't too many new items but I did just want to kind of go over what they did have. There was one little lonely tuxedo Sam up in there with no tag and a whole bunch of like Star Wars frozen just kind of all over the place. Just kind of, you know, flippity floppity. There was this one, my Melody, poor little lady. I think these are actually the 10 inch ones too. And then that one random squish fill in a vehicle. I actually do not collect those. Then there was this uh, one. Oh, actually, that was a second Hello Kitty. Wow, I'm such a liar. There was a few Harry Potter house squishmallows. Also, have you guys seen the new Harry Potter squishmallows that are coming out? There is Harry, Ron, Hermione and Hedwig. And he Hedwig looks so cute, although I wish that she was a little bit more white. I feel like she's actually a little bit sort of a creamy sort of off-white. But anyway, back to these squish. These are like the 10 inch squad of Hugmies that came out sort of recently. So many Day of the Deads still. Oh my gosh, there's another Tuxedo Sam. Wow, I'm the biggest liar. And then we have this Leland, I think his name is, the blue fish, and then that yellow macaron whose name is Visconti. Uh, we have some Sonic the Hedgehog and friends. Little, there was that, that was a, the yellow one was Nine Tails. Of course, more Day of the Dead. This bin was honestly just a mixed bag. I'm surprised to still see some of Katrina, the green and black Day of the Dead cow just out and about, but again, I digress. <laughs> the next place that we went to was Kmart and there was still some of this original 12 inch squad plus Gouda the cheese. So many Gouda the cheese. Like I don't think anybody realistically wants a huge thing of cheese <laughs> in their collection. So many of the Fuzzamellos still too. Uh, various different squads. And in the Bum Bums box there was literally just the little coffee pot. It was so sad. Again still surprised or rather, I should say, I am still surprised just in general that I'm still finding the big 16 inch Eden Bigfoot. Like it just shocks me. And then this little kitty, I swear I've only seen her like once before. She was so cute. The green sparkly ears were just adorable. She kind of matches the dino that she's sitting next to. So many big squish at this particular target. And then I actually noticed that this target had like the Mickey and Minnie, which I've seen them before in the Hug Me's, but they also had the Winnie the Pooh. And look, I'm sorry if you love the Mickey, Minnie and Pooh Bear uh, Hug Me versions, but I just don't think that they're cute. Like, why is his face flat? Why didn't they give him a little schnoot? It just does not make any sense to me. And then there's that dinosaur, warthog, piplab, another tuxedo Sam. Oh, but this is at a different store. So many of the big ones still up there and so many squishables around the place too, which by the way, I actually have a squishable to show you guys in my haul later on. I'm so excited about it. Oh, uh, I am losing my voice already. Now we're at a zing and there wasn't too much, but we did still have some of these board games, which I thought was pretty cute and some Christmas ornaments still left over. Oh, I think I actually got myself a Blueby clip. I believe that I mentioned in the last month's video that if I saw Blueby again in the wild, I was going to get it regardless of price. So yes, I did spend $10 on Blueby when I could have spent five at Kmart, but I didn't find any at a Kmart until after I had paid $10. So, you know, beggars can be chosers. And then of course, this is uh, Toy World. So there were so many bum bums. They were, they're just 
Look, guys, I, I just love them. They're so adorable. They may not be everybody's cup of tea, but, like, look at this one, the frying pan with an egg on it. Like, come on. I don't know what that is. Maybe a, a Dorito with, like, salsa on it, and I that one's like a chicken drumstick with blue cheese. I don't know. It's so weird. I don't know what that one is. It might be a cookie. I don't know. I mean, I can't always work out exactly what they are, but I don't know. It's just... I just love them. I think that they're so fun. And the fact that they're like inanimate objects, like this is a thundercloud, like seriously, and a combi van, like, hello? <laughs> and then not too many Squishmallows on their shelves, actually. It was rather sad. So many Pokemon left over though. This was a different section of the toy world and I found a stuffed olive. And then, oh, this is actually where I got my Daisy Bum Bum from last month. Uh, it was actually from off this shelf. There was just that one left. And then these are the ones that I don't know why they're not in that same tub over on the other side of the store. But I mean, anyway, these are the ones that are kind of more hidden further into the store. But I always check down here just in case they do have some. They had so many of that cereal bowl left over. OK, well, so Coles, I uh, funnily enough, like I wasn't going to walk down this particular aisle, but then I suddenly saw all of this like back to school stuff, because if you don't know, if you're from the Northern Hemisphere, you might not know, but in Australia, we start school at the start of the year and we finish school at the end of the year. We don't start in September because our seasons are obviously different. So you'll start school in your summer. We start school in our summer. Well, I mean, I'm 31 years old. I obviously don't go to school anymore, but just to see all of this back to school stuff, for kids it was so cute and there was no squishmallows like there was two of that little wild dog uh, at the kid stuff there was so many of the little 4.5 inch bum bums and i wanted to show you guys like every single one but unfortunately there was like people and they kept on kind of just walking past me not really caring that i was filming so i was just like okay if you don't really want me to be in here filming all of your cuties then i just won't and so i kind of walked away I mean, after a little bit, I had to look at like that little alien first and the big salt. Sad that it wasn't sitting next to its pepper this time. Uh, a few of these little squishmallows still, but 13 Australian dollars for one of those. Like, I'm not going to pay $13 if I don't know exactly what's inside it, if you know what I mean. Now, I did go into Toy Mate and I did pick up a few squishmallows actually from Toy Mate uh, because I just... I don't know. I just really wanted to get myself something that day. And so I did. <laughs> but here we have this squad with the rhinoceros and Visconti, the macaron. And then uh, I can't remember his name, but that little green dragon, I think it's Desmond, maybe. I actually noticed that they had so many Squishmallows still, considering that the Christmas period has just ended. I could not believe how many they still had. Uh, but I spoke to the lady at the counter and she said that they had like literally so many more and they were absolutely annihilated like they were so busy over the Christmas period which I can understand but just the fact that there were still so many left over I was just like it was I was in over my head essentially like this row over here so many of that pink hippo uh they still like they have yeah they oh my god what are they called Sonic the Hedgehog family obviously Sonic's not there but there's Shadow there's Ninetales I can't oh my gosh my brain's not working anymore but oh Knuckles the other one I think, I don't know, if I'm getting them all wrong, I'm so sorry, but I had to include Charles the Pickle, of course, and then we had, like, Theotto, the <laughs> Cthulhu, so many Robert the Frogs as well, this blue fishy again, and the eel, O'Nell, and more Day of the Dead, a whole bunch of hug me still, so many of that mystery dessert squad, which if you don't know, I actually got six of those and I put a little short up. I mean, it was in my haul a couple of months ago, but I did put a short up opening them all to see if I got one of each from the squad. Let me tell you, I was sitting on that floor for a good 20, 25 minutes trying to work out uh, from sniffing them and looking through the little holes in the bottoms to make sure that I was getting one of each. <laughs> I spent $60 just to make that one short and it only got 2.5 thousand views, but it's okay. Like I keep on saying, beggars can't be choosers. A few Pokemon Squish over there as well. And then like, look at this. This was behind their regular Squishmallow shelf. There was still thousands. Like I swear to God, I don't really swear to God. <laughs> That's a bit uh, extreme, but there were hundreds. Let me tell you, hundreds. Like there's a whole box of just that tomato, just Visconti, the yellow macaron. Like it was just 
it was just beyond my comprehension. Why didn't I get that purple Rolf recliner? Why didn't I get that purple couch? It was a 7.5 inch. I am such a silly sausage. I need to go back and get that if it's still there. So these are the bum bums. They don't really have the bum bums at the front of the store very often. So I've got to kind of go sort of searching a little bit to find where they've got them set up. But they didn't really have too much in comparison to the last time that I filmed the bum bums at Toy Mate. But there were some, you know, this tent was so cute. This refrigerator, they're just adorable, you guys. I cannot deal with how cute they are. Even this yin yang. And this one is a caravan, I think. They're so cute. And of course, the coffee pot and a little soy sauce. This is a different day. So I went into a Kmart and saw this towel, which I was like, what? It's like a hooded towel, obviously, for people that are shorter and have smaller heads than I. And then Kmart also had some back to school stuff. So there was actually a couple of different water bottles. This one was really cute. I liked the lid on the top. And this one had a really cool pattern all around it. It's actually really nice. I liked it quite a lot and that like that clear sort of teal lid so cute this little sectioned off uh, lunchbox I think they're called like bento lunchboxes or something like that this one which is like thermal on the inside to keep everything nice and cool and then the drink bottle as well it didn't have anything on it it was just a clear drink bottle but it does come with it which is nice thousands of these I keep saying thousands like I'm being so dramatic but so many of those big squish and then at this particular Kmart their Squishmallow section is actually separate from their toy section, so there's so many to go over. My niece was actually with me on this day, so my footage is a little bit kind of, I don't know, hunky-dory, because obviously I was trying to watch her at the same time as also getting the Squish uh, like on film. So it's a little bit kind of like here and there, chippity-choppity, but... I mean, I got what I could, you know, she was actually really good for me this day. She was so, so, so well behaved. It was like, is, is she even like a human or is she a doll? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, she was so good for me. And, oh, this was the first time I was seeing that little red squid in person too. It was so cute. Like, let me tell you guys, I kept on handing her toys thinking that she was going to want me to get it for her. And then she'd be like, oh yeah, and tell me the color of it. Tell me what it was called. Like if it was a dinosaur or a horse or whatever. And then she'd give it back to me. And I'd put it back on the shelf and like it she was just so good it was so cute <laughs> this was the first time I was seeing this like weird white monkey as well like this particular squad and then we have Zam the Kirin you know he's kind of cute like he has nice colors but it's just not my cup of tea speaking of cups of tea there we have a matcha latte and the eight inch mystery squad which I don't know I'm just I'm not gonna pay $18 for something that is a mystery and it's just one squishmallow <laughs> especially not for a scented one anyway this was at the uh Woolworths I went to say Safeway because it used to be called Safeway but it's Woolworths at uh, this there were so many of the five inch day of the deads in here and some other little randoms here and there it's just a shock to see like the bats and the cows still like those ones sold out so quick on pre-order on like be mine cree be mine collectibles and like pop-in collectibles EB Games, this is a different day, I do believe, and there was a lot of people around, so that's why my footage is kind of really angled downwards, uh, obviously besides here, because there was nobody back here, but there was a, a bit, there was a few things, you know, obviously I didn't get too much. There is that uh, cassowary, I figured it out, it's a cassowary, this one is a slug of some sort, it's a really pretty blue, like don't get me wrong, and then Zam the Karen again. I obviously was there was so much time in between the previous day we just seen and then this day that I must have forgotten that I already showed these little guys off at that Kmart from uh, the day previous I mean the the, the previous footage my brain's not working y'all it's 9 30 in the morning I just worked a three hour shift like <laughs> just bear with me so many of the big six, 16 inches over there and then of course that same squad with the velociraptor the red one and that uh, little monkey uh, Octave. I don't know what kind of monkey. I keep forgetting to look it up. But then there was like so many of the 12 inches over here. It, it's such a shock to see that purple jellyfish still, you know. That one, that's the cassowary. I couldn't work it out in uh, one of my previous videos, but it is a cassowary, which I believe is native to Australia or at least endemic to Australia. I don't really know. Uh, I thought both those words meant the same thing, but I don't think that they do. I do believe that uh, I saw a cassowary at the Melbourne Zoo once and I couldn't actually see it out in the enclosure and then my husband pointed it out to me and I kind of 
jumped backwards because I didn't realise it was so close to the window. And I didn't realise that Cassowaris was so absolutely enormous. This is the same target that we were at earlier in the video. And there's a Squishable over there, that avocado. I was shocked to see this axolotl hug me. And these bisons, donkey. I was so shocked to see a couple of donkey. Another Eden, of course, because there's always Eden. And then we have another little Rosemond. And just, yeah, a bunch of things here and there. Some Squishables all mixed into the mix and some Kmart brand, uh, not Kmart, sorry, Target branded stuff in there as well. A whole bunch of random cuties over here, like that shark that I just picked up and dropped, that was a Target brand. And that thing, don't know what that is. <laughs> back at kids stuff and I was just showing off that they had some more seven inch bum bums which were very very cute indeed and they did still have some of the smaller ones down below they didn't have too many squishmallows but I did kind of want to show you guys that they did kind of have some more stock this is my local kid stuff the other kid stuffs in my area are a little bit like too far out of my area technically to realistically like I'd be spending so much money on petrol and it's so expensive at the moment so I just kind of stick to my local stores unless I'm looking for something very particular but yes indeed back at this big W they didn't really have too much the last time but I was just kind of showing what they had oh that little avocado with the heart in the middle of it I really was tempted to get that it's just like big W branded but it was so cute <laughs> uh, there's some more like hug me's and I was shocked to see this ray like cutie oh and there was two of her that's right so they obviously had this particular squad restocked pretty recently they it's such a cute squad honestly but I think I only got actually no I have like pretty much half of that squad actually <laughs> let's be realistic here I have so many of that squad some more 16 inches down here in uh bubble right uh, no vacuum vacuum sealed and then here's where the valentine's day stuff started coming out which was so exciting this was the i think they're technically like a 7.5 inch squad i put a short up of this as well the caterpillar griffith my whole entire hide the orange ginger cat the orange ginger well the ginger cat with the blue heart this anglerfish which was very interesting and then that this is EB Games, actually. No, no, it's not. No, this is the other side of um, Zing. Wow. And this moth was so cute. And then I saw this purple alligator as well. Like, what? And this massive ice cream. I don't think that I'd ever seen that one in person before. Now, at EB Games, that's right, there was still three of this particular squad. So we had the turtle with the gorgeous shell, the anglerfish, and the caterpillar, which I was shocked to see the caterpillar still there. Uh, this one is an anteater called Abbott, and again, there was kids in the background. You can see somebody's crocs over there, and again, the little moth. So cute. Oh my goodness. Now, this is back at the Kmart that I was at with my niece the last time, and once again, I'm with my niece. So again, it was kind of hard to get footage, but... I was keeping it occupied by showing her toys again and actually I was talking to her the whole time in the background which is why I'm glad that I do voiceovers for these because otherwise you'd hear me talking to her. She's so cute though you guys. I showed her this purple frog and she didn't even want me to get it for her. Oh wait a minute. No guys I'm a total liar. This was the, t the first time I was seeing these ones all by myself. Well I'm such a liar because I went to buy that Francine, but she had a damaged tag. And then I found a second one in amongst everything. And so I got that one instead. So spoiler alert, I got a purple Francine. <laughs> I got a purple frog. And oh, that's right, because there was Ronnie and there was a Malcolm and there was a Wendy actually still at this particular Kmart. So the, the footage from, there's actually a lot of footage from this particular visit because I went all by my lonesome. There was a cam still. I don't know what that thing was, but there was so many 12 inches. It was like just pure and utter chaos. There was still a Misty Fuzzer Mallow, which I really still want, but you know, I keep leaving her there when I see her. So I must be able to live without her. And the Avery, that was another one that was a shock. Uh, people in this particular area, this is like a different came up that I don't go to very often. Like people in this particular area must not really be too crazy about the most popular Squishmallows. <gasps> Give me a moment. I just need to swallow. <laughs> I also need a sip of my coffee. Give me two seconds while you look at the cute squish that we're going through. And the Archie, my goodness. And they typically have like 
so many clips at this place as well. So that was all of what they had. I did get footage of going through them, but I, there was just no point because I've shown them all before. And then this particular Squishmallow, I actually got the 4.5 inch of that, not Squishmallow, oh my gosh, it was a bum bum. <laughs> I got the 4.5 inch of that little pink sort of tie dye flower last month. And I was actually just shocked to see the 7.5 inch one. And then just some little like eight, uh, seven, seven point five, seven. Scarlito, the purple owl. There was a bunch, okay. And then I was actually shocked to still see this Bigfoot. Like people must really not be interested in the most popular squishmallows at this one particular Kmart. This is the Kmart where I was with my niece for the second time in the month, okay. So many of the 12 inch Valentine's Day squad. Like literally, look at this. There's like a hundred thousand billion trillion. And then there was a couple of those Squishville packets left, some bum bums still. And this is actually the footage where I was talking with my niece. There's my niece, I had to include her. Obviously I'm not going to show her face because we don't wanna put kids out on the internet. And I don't think that her mom would appreciate me putting her face out on the internet anyway. That's her job if she wants to do that. But so many clips and the Valentine's Day clips as well it was so exciting to see. Oh, actually, when I was doing the short to show all of the clips that I found, I showed a little purple frog Francine to my niece and she was so excited. I actually thought she was going to get me to buy it for her because uh, they're only $5 at Kmart. Like, it's just chaos. They're so, so cheap. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. I buy them on pre-order, so they're about 7 to $8 when I buy them online, but that's fine. I don't really mind. It means that I am guaranteed the ones that I want. So I did actually hand it to her, and the reason why she got so excited was because she recognized... Okay, look, she's two and a half. Like, she... And, and she's not silly. She is so smart. She knew that that matched the other one that I showed her from the 12 inch, and she made me go back over there, and she, like, held them up next to each other, and she looked at me with the, just the cutest look in her eyes. I was just absolutely mesmerized. She's the cutest. And then this was another basket that was more kind of closer towards the end of the store. Oh my God, you guys, I'm exhausted. Like I really am so exhausted. Maybe that segment wasn't actually quite 23 minutes because I've only been recording for 23 minutes. And I'm pretty sure that with all the pauses I took doing my intro that uh, it was definitely more than a minute. Regardless, you guys, okay, so. I'm really excited now because there is so much. This video is probably going to be like another 40 minute video. I'm not even kidding. It's going to take me so long to go through everything. So let me just take a little sip of my coffee, put it aside so I don't tip it everywhere. Also, Care Bears shirt, Care Bears coffee cup, Care Bears coaster. I'm just in a colorful kind of mood today. But all right, so we're going to start with all of the Squishmallows. Then I will show some Builder Bears, a Squishable and then Bum Bum. So, I'll hopefully I'll remember to put like chapters so that you guys can kind of skip to what you want to see but I need to stop talking first cutie is of course Francine which I already told you guys about in the voiceover segment she is so stinking cute the most adorable little thing that I've ever seen in my entire life I love her I love her I love her and I can't believe we got her in two versions like within Australia we got obviously the 12 inch and then we got the clip which Hello? Like, so good. Anyway, let me go ahead and read out her bio. Francine has never missed a corn maze tour. Every year she hops through the huge corn maze outside town with her trusty map. It's such a fun tradition. Francine hopes to be a tour guide when she gets older and share the joy with younger mallows experiencing their first corn maze. Oh my god, you guys, that is so absolutely sweet. I love it. I love her. She's so beautiful. I don't know where I'm going to put her on my shelves, but I'll work it out. She's just so stinking adorable. I can't even stand it. Actually, I'm pretty sure that I put her in the thumbnail, so you guys probably assumed that I got her regardless, but have to include her in the haul anyway. Of course, in the hunting footage and voiceover segment, I did mention that I got Bluebee the clip, so here he is. As you can see, I did spend $10, which I know that's double the price that I should be paying, but it's okay because I'm happy anyway. I'm so excited that I have this little cutie. And actually I said him, but I'm not actually sure if the blueberry has a gender. Let's go ahead and have a little read. Oh, okay. This is a she. My bad. I'm so sorry, my little honey bunny. 
So her tag says, you know Bluebee is happy when she does her telltale happy dance. If you really want to make Bluebee stay, just give her a heads up when sunny weather is in the forecast. Then watch Bluebee dance all the way out to her favorite sunny spot. Oh my god, you guys, that is just absolutely adorable and I can't even stand it and I'm so happy to have wish little cutie. Why am I talking like this? I don't think I actually have any blue clips at all, so this will be really nice to start a little blue section over there on my clip wall. It's just the side of my, what's it called, my, my shelving thing, but I like to call it my clip wall, okay? And then tell me why, tell me why, that sounded terrible. Tell me why I got four of the Valentine's Day clips. You guys, this is the cutest squad that's like ever existed. So I got Miri, the yellow moth with the cute little wingies. I actually did an unboxing video for these ones, so I'm fairly certain that I must have already read out the, the tags and everything. So if you're interested, I'll pop a little card to the unboxing video for the Valentine's Day pre-orders that I got uh, up in the corner. So I also got the little macaron midi. She is so stinking adorable. She's got this kind of like tie dye cream in the middle of her tummy and this like detail on her head. It's just so sweet. I love it. Then we have Eden the Bigfoot. Whoa, okay. Didn't even get to see her face, but there she is. You know, I know that there's like a 16 inch of this one. Obviously you would have seen in the footage if you did watch that. And I just don't think that Eden is very cute in that size. But when I saw this one in a clip, I just couldn't help myself. Like the little cheekies and the little eyelashes and the teeny tiny little hearts on the tummy. She's just, and the purple clip. It's just she's just adorable <laughs> even her little tag is so adorable again uh, i read out her tag in the unboxing video and then obviously i had to go and get the little francine clip because why would i not actually i'll show you what my niece was doing with the squishmallows when i said that she was holding them up against each other and she had the sweetest look on her face she was going like this and she was putting them in my face like this and she was like making them hug and look at each other and you guys she's like two and a half years old like i just she's so smart anyway that uh concludes the clip segment eee, so many to add to my wall i'm so excited maybe i'll put up a short of me putting these on my clip wall that's a really good idea i'm gonna write that down because otherwise i will forget that okie dokie so this particular squad is actually i believe maybe coming to woolworth very soon but just in case i was gonna miss out on them i did obviously pre-order them so i believe that these ones are actually in that that same unboxing or no no, not the Valentine's Day unboxing. This unboxing, I'll link it up in the corner. I'm gonna have to remember to put a couple of, ta uh, sorry, what are they called? A couple of cards in here so that you all can just go ahead and click directly onto the videos that you'd like to watch after this. But here we have little Niha, and I do believe that I read out Niha's tag in that other video as well, but I also have her in a clip. I'm just obsessed. Like she's a dodo bird, but she's purple. Like look at her little fluffy arms and her little fluffy tail, her little wonky beak. Like, excuse me. She's just so cute. I am absolutely obsessed with her. And then I believe that this one's from that same squad. It's a cantaloupe. Like, <laughs> Francois, are you literally joking? The cutest little thing I've ever seen. I just don't know whether I'm going to put Francois into my green cube or my orange cube. I'm going to have to work that out. But yeah, I do believe that I read out the tag for Francois in that other video as well. Now, that's actually the only two five inch squishmallows that I got. The rest are going to range between seven to 7.5 to eight inches. And there's a lot, okay? Let me tell you, there is a lot. Some of these I will have already unboxed on camera and it will be in either one of those two videos linked prior to this. And some others I picked up in the wild. And then there's also about five that I got in squish mail, but did not do an unboxing video for because I literally, literally received them yesterday. And I just thought, now nah, I'm just gonna cut them open, have a look at them now. Anyway, I'm gonna stop babbling and get on with it because there's a lot. <laughs> First of all is Hannah the Hippo holding a little heart-shaped waffle with butter. Like, are you literally kidding me? It's got syrup and it's got a little bit of butter there. So cute. 
I did actually unbox Hannah on camera, so I read out her tag in that video. If you are interested, Gigi, the ginger cat with the blue heart tummy. I don't, I believe this one I got out in the wild. It's included in a short, but haven't actually read out the bio for Gigi. So Gigi's tag says, this mallow moves a mile a minute thanks to her favorite fuel, apple juice. And on fancy occasions, she drinks sparkling apple juice. This tabby even wears a crisp apple fragrance and chews apple flavored gum. Can you guess Gigi's favorite type of apple? It's honey crisp. Are you literally joking me right now? Are you literally joking me? Now I did pay $20 for this little cutie and she is a, I believe 7.5 ish kind of like 7.5 ish inches in size because she was exclusive to Zing and EB games. They do charge so much more, but you know, it was worth it because look at how absolutely adorable she is. From that same squad, I also got the Caterpillar Griffith and again, also paid $20 for her, but it's worth it because she is so cute and I didn't want to have missed out on her. I've actually started collecting like so many bugs, so she was needed for the collection. So Griffith's tag says, ready for a fun Valentine's Day picnic? Griffith and her besties, Fluxy and Cordelia, host big outdoor lunches with lots of cheesy dishes and chocolate treats. All mallows are invited to join the Valentine's Day fun. Griffith even makes mini daisy bouquets for every guest to bring home. Yee! Now I don't think I'll ever be able to get my hands on a Fluxy unless I pay like a stupid amount of money on eBay. But uh, as for Cordelia, I may have uh, a little surprise to show you guys in a little, little bit. And then there's Charisma, who I have read her tag out on that other unboxing video as well. I did have her pre-ordered and I was actually really shocked to see Charisma in the 12 inch squad as well. And I was so tempted to get her, but you guys, the 12 inch ones are $20 and that is the cheapest that you can get 12 inches for in Australia at Kmart. But I just, I don't really have the space. So I kind of had to make a choice. It was either Francine or it was Charisma. And obviously I went for Francine. She's purple, she's more my style. I love frogs. But yeah, so really, really super happy and excited. She's so stinking cute. And then this one, Lorelai, she's actually in uh, the pre-order video as well. So I've already read out her tag, but there she is. She's so cute. And then the last one from the videos that you guys would have already seen if you did watch those videos is Scarleto the Purple Owl. She's just so cute. I love her little wings and her little tail and her little face and her little beak and her little embroidered details. She's just stunning. And like the shade of purple, it's like lavendery, kind of lilac-y. It's just... <gasps> I love it. And of course, in that video, I did read out her tag on there. So if you are interested, like I said, go ahead and check those videos out. They will be linked up in the cards. And then out in the wild, I picked up Desmond. I j <laughs> it was when I was at Toymate and there was just so many of them. I just got so overwhelmed and I looked at this little guy and I just thought, you need to come home and be in my collection. Obviously, I'd seen him so many times before. But I just like look at him and I can pop him in my green section. I actually have like so many green squishmallows. I'm gonna have to do a cull soon, but look at him. He's just adorable. And turns out my nephew got the same squishmallow. My sister tried to pawn it off onto me, but I was like, hee hee, I've got him. She obviously didn't know because I hadn't done this month's haul yet. But there's my little Desmond, my little green dragon. And I am gonna read out his tag as well. So Desmond's tag says, when it comes to cooking, look no further than Desmond. Not only does Desmond cook with the best spices and flavors, but he also heats up his steak with his burning hot breath. <laughs> Everyone in his squad loves a special home cooked meal made by Desmond. That is actually so cute. Like I'm kind of tearing up a little bit and I, I don't even eat meat, but just the fact that he cooks with his own fire breath. Oh, you're adorable. I love him. Anyway, on the same day in the same purchase, I got Visconti, the yellow macaron. I just, ugh. I don't know why I just I did really want her the first time I saw her I just kept on putting it off and putting it off and then of course in that toy mate there was just literally so many 
I had to like look at her little chocolate cream filling her little details on her head she's just so stinking adorable and Visconti's tag says Visconti reports on frozen treats for the local newspaper. Whether interviewing the creator of pickle-flavoured gelato or investigating the details of a chilling sorbet scandal, this award-winning journalist always gets the scoop. Look out for her cold hard facts hot off the press. That is one of the best tags I've ever read. That is so cute. And there's her little tag, uh, what's it called, like clip art or whatever you want to call it, illustration what have you. She's so cute and she's so soft. This fur is just, 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 it's just, okay? It's just. What does that mean? Who knows? And then remember what I was saying about Griffith the caterpillar and one of her best friends being Cordelia? <laughs> Cordelia is so stinking cute. And normally when they don't have a tag, I don't like bother looking up their bio or anything. But I think in this particular instance, I have to look up Cordelia's bio and read it out for you guys. It seems important. So Cordelia's bio says, Cordelia is a regular at all the local small toy shops in her area. Oh, a girl after my own heart. That's literally me. She drops by almost every weekend looking for new and unique keepsakes to add to her collection or gift to a close friend. Literally me, except instead of on weekends, it's like a couple of times during the week, like during the weekdays. Uh, anyway, let's just keep on going. So then the last little bit here, I lost my place. Cordelia's favorite toys are miniatures, so she can always hold onto one when she's on the go. My literal whole entire heart, you guys, this particular Squishmallow I got with four others. So there was five in a deal for 100 Australian dollars shipped like no extra money on top of that for the shipping. And I have this feeling that basically all of them, if not at least majority of them are like US exclusives. So I got a bargain. They're essentially $20 each free shipping. Like if you think about it, so that's just insane. Like the cheapest that I've seen these ones going for is maybe 25 to $30. Just the fact that I got like all five and free shipping for just 100, I'm just thrilled. I'm so happy, so excited. So I got these ones from one of the same sellers that I get a lot of my Squishmallows from off of Facebook. And I'm actually, after this, I put myself on a Squishmallow buying ban because <laughs> I haven't been getting a lot of hours at work and real life comes first, obviously. So I'm not going to be buying for a little while. I have actually put all of the pages on Facebook on a 30 day snooze. So will there be a February video? Who knows? There may be some hunting footage, but there might not be a haul. I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. So the second one from that same seller is actually another caterpillar. So this one's name is Christian and it's actually a first to market, which is really cool. I don't think I have any first to market ones. This one's like so similar to the design for Cordelia, but it's kind of like a tie dye sort of pink. And this look at look at its little butt like I swear to the high heavens the little fluffy Tommy and everything and then I obviously as you can see this one does have a tag so I'll go ahead and I'll read out Christian's tag Christian writes children's books with his pal Nova after Christian writes the story Nova draws the pictures for it they are working on a series now about a Mallow who goes on underwater adventures want to check out their latest story like, isn't that so cute? He's like a little bookworm, except he writes. Like, are you serious? He's just, oh my God. He's just so sweet and precious and I love him so very much. And again, fairly certain a US exclusive. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm fairly certain. This next one, again, within the same five from that one seller. This next one is very special, very special to my heart because the first like 7.5-ish, Squishmallow. Basically, the first Squishmallow that I got that wasn't a 16 inch Squishmallow or a Hug Me was Eldest, the little bat back in there. He's so stinking cute. He's got like teal ears, teal tummy, teal wingies. And this little guy, Holy, is like basically his opposite coloring. Like he's basically the skeleton of Eldest. And I'm just obsessed. The moment that I saw him pop up in the new section on the Squad app, I just. I screamed, I needed him to go back in there to sit next to Eldis, where my finger's like not pointing in the right spot, but there, Eldis like 
How cute is he going to look right next to Aldous? I... Eee! He's so stinking cute, I swear. And also, he is another first to market. The camera's not really going to focus, but look, you know, beggars can't be choosers. He does have a little damage to his tag, but you know, that's, that's fine. Like, I honestly don't really mind. So inside of Holly's little tag, it says, Holly loves haunted houses. Every year, they fly to different Halloween festivals and theme parks just to get a good scare. Holly doesn't scare easily, so if you see them jump, you can be sure it's a frightening experience. So I got it wrong. Sorry, I got the pronouns wrong. Holly is they, them. I believe I was saying him. But there's little Holly. Aren't they so adorable? I just can't get over how absolutely just scrum diddly umptious this one is. Now this next one was actually on my very first ISO list. Uh, I'll actually, I have it in a video. I'll pop that up in here. I should probably do like an updated ISO list and let you guys know which ones from that video that I've actually acquired because it's basically every single one. And so many new Squishmallows have come out from like since that point. But anyway, this one is Joldy. You guys, of course I did get the little clip version of Joldy but this is the 7.5 inch and just look at her little fluffy tummy, her little sparkly black wings and ears. Ah, oh, I just am absolutely obsessed, 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 thrilled to death. And I do believe that I have read out Joldy's tag before, but just in case I haven't, let me just quickly check it up. Sorry, look it up to show you guys. So inside of Joldy's bio tag, it says, meet Joldy. She's a total trickster who loves playing pranks on her friends. She's been known to hide for up to two hours, waiting for the perfect moment to jump out and scare her friends. So keep an eye out because you never know when she's planning her next spooky prank. Like, are you kidding me? She's like this little trickster, little jokester. Like, I <sighs> Apologies for the sounds that are coming out of my mouth today, but just like you guys, you guys, she's so stinking perfect. I love her so much. And, you know, just adding to my bat collection at this point. Okay, you guys, so the last Squishmallow I have been wanting since before I even ever bought my very first Squishmallow, which was the 16 inch Pace the Fennec Fox. Can't really see his face, but he is up in the corner there. I know that the Squishmallow has been popular and I just have to say, like, I can understand why. It's Aldrin, the Plague Doctor. Like literally, stop choking my chain. How did I get this guy within the five Squishmallows for only $100 shipped? Explain it to me. I just don't understand. He's so beautiful. He's got his Squishmallow tags. Like he's definitely genuine Squishmallow and he does have like a little bit of a mark on his little beak there, but I, I haven't actually tried cleaning it off yet, but he's so cute. Like look at his little hat details. And this is kind of like sparkly, but it's not that kind of sparkle that catches on your fingers. It feels like just really nice. And oh, you guys, I'm, just, I'm gonna cry. He's so perfect. I love him so much. Obviously he does not have a tag, but he does have the little loop for a hang tag. And I took the liberty of quickly looking up his bio tag after we were done with Joldy's. So Aldrin's bio tag, it says, meet Aldrin. He gets a bad rap. He looks a little scary, but he's a total sweetheart. When he's not working at his coffee shop making extra sweet pumpkin spice lattes, he volunteers with his friend Benty at an animal shelter and bottle feeds the baby kittens. Like, excuse me? Like, this guy is totally after my heart. I am a barista. That is what I do. That is how I make my money at work. And I'm also obsessed with kittens. I'm obsessed with cats. And I'm also obsessed with pumpkin spice lattes. They're so good. They're so spicy and sweet. And the coffee and just, oh, it's so damn good. Let me tell you. But anyway, that is actually it in terms of the Squishmallows. I've been recording for 50 minutes. This is going to be a nightmare to edit. Oh my goodness. But without further ado, let's move on to the Build Bears. So I got the Spring Green Froggy Builder Bear. He popped up online as in stock and I just couldn't help myself. I had to go ahead and grab him. So he did come in the mail and I was going to do an unboxing video for the two packages that I did receive, but I just thought I may as well go ahead and include it all together with my Squishmallow video for the month. But isn't he so just, ee, he's everything. He's so cute. And then I also got, 
Oh, I've forgotten what color he's technically called. Is it sky blue? I'm going to quickly look it up. It's blue skies. So this is the frog in the blue skies color. Isn't he just so sweet? I don't know if I want to keep their tags attached or not just yet, but he's just so cute. Absolutely adorable. And same thing, saw him online as being in stock and quickly snatched that little sucker up. Don't have anywhere to put them, but I got them. Now, the one squishable that I got is actually still in the bag that it came in. Haven't taken him out to have a proper, proper look at him just yet. So this is the first time. Oh, he's a little bit flattened. It's the avocado, you guys. I do have the massive avocado and now I have its little baby. Isn't it just so cute? Hang on, it looks a bit better going that way. It's so cute, you guys. I'm just obsessed. Uh, we only get squishables in Australia at Target and they're rather expensive. This one was on clearance for I think it was $18, which is very expensive for such a teeny tiny little teddy, but I'm really happy with him. I'm so excited. He's gonna be added to the avocado shelf and I'm really pumped about it. Last box, I swear, I promise. This is the Bum Bums. So I'll get the biggest one out of the way first. So this is the one that I found in that Kmart and my sister actually sent me money to purchase her but she is so stinking cute she looks so cute next to her little mini version and i did actually show you guys the mini version in the unboxing video that i i think it was the first one that i linked not the valentine's day one the other one with all of my pre-orders but look at them together they're so cute now i feel like i did show this one in that pre-order video as well but this one is the mini blueberry muffin, whose name is Melissa, I think. It is Melissa. So I feel like I did actually show you guys her in the unboxing, as well as this one. It's the little rainbow cloud, whose name is Rue, R-U-E. So, so cute. I do believe I also showed this one in that video. Oh, her stick is kind of coming out of her little thingy over here. Let me fix that. This one's name is Patty. She's the mini stack of pancakes. I feel like I actually showed you guys all of these on in that pre-order video, but regardless, this one is the little shooting star. Her name is Stratton. Oh, so cute. I swear, like my three favorite colors, purple, blue, and pink. Actually, that's a lie because I really like green as well, but three of my favorite colors. And then you guys, I swear, this is the end of it. We have Ralph, the little recliner. So, so cute. I'm just, uh, look at his funny little arms. And then we have Sunday, the mini strawberry milk. So that's it, you guys. Finally, we're like an hour in. This is gonna be a nightmare to edit, but I hope that you guys enjoyed the hunting footage and this gigantic haul. Again, keep in mind that I may or may not have a video for February. Surely you all can understand real life, bills and everything like that comes first. So hopefully I can work my little butt off in order to do all of that and then still continue buying Squishmallows in the future. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I hope that you will consider doing so. And while you're there, you may as well go ahead and click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every single time that I do upload a brand new video. Of course, you guys, if you enjoyed today's video in particular and you would like to show myself and or the channel some support, you can do so by either clicking on the like button and or by letting me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see on my channel next. Thank you all so very, very, very much for watching today especially if you made it this far into the video. And as always, you guys, until next time, bye-bye.